Okay, in this week's video, I wanted to talk about ways to optimize sticky bone. Okay, there's a lot of people are making sticky bone, everybody knows what it is, but I just wanna talk briefly about ways to optimize and how we can make this a little bit better. Now, when we look at fibrin, and we use typically the liquid pure F to make the sticky bone, always remember that if we cut up one or two of these membranes ahead of time, this will actually lead to better clot formation, and there's a reason for that is that when fibrinogen and thrombin convert into fibrin, if it already has little fibrin, like little fibrin fragments here that are made up, future fibrin can clot from the fibrin that's already formed. So this acts like a little nucleus. And if I make it and I cut it up in this way here, and then I introduce the bone grafting material, okay? Now I have all of these little bone grafting particles that are found in there that are, are gonna be coated and surrounded with the PRF fragments, okay? Let's talk about the bone graft. If the bone graft has collagen incorporation, such as an allograft, it will typically allow that that fibrin clot forms a little bit uh, better, okay? So that's another thing that's important and uh, quite interesting. So now that we have the PRF, the, we typically cut up two PRF uh, membranes per, you know, one cc of allograft. Here there's a lot, obviously, I'm making a bigger sticky bone. And then we add the liquid in there. Okay, so if we don't have enough liquid, like I said, we can just go grab more of the liquid platelet-rich fibrin and we can incorporate it into um, and make liquid platelet-rich fibrin, so to make the sticky bone here. When it's done, you should theoretically have a sticky bone that looks like this. The consistency should look and resemble what it is here, okay? If it's not, it's either that your bone grafting material is not of proper quality, so you might not have enough collagen, or it could also mean that you didn't cut up one or two PRF fragments ahead of time, which would be very, very useful here, okay? So that's ideally your goal. That's what you're trying to reach for. Again, ways to do this and improve it. One, cut up one to two PRF membranes, okay, into fragments to act as little nucleus centers. Two, make sure your bone graft contains allograft. That will help uh, the consistency here. So that's it for this week. Like I said, just a short little video to highlight uh, how to optimize sticky bone a little bit further. 